if you lack on motivation every single day, like him, this route really is for you. Most people chase pleasure, thinking it's happiness. But actually, it's two different chemicals in your brain. Dopamine spikes for short-term rewards. It feels good now, it makes you crave for more, and it fuels intermediate motivation to act. Serotonin sustains long-term contentment. It stabilizes your daily motivation in long-term. There's also a third one involved, the stress hormone cortisol. If you're exposed to chronic stress, cortisol will downregulate your serotonin receptors by up to 70%, which can cause depression. It will impair your prefrontal cortex, making you seek for instant gratification and zero future planning. And because cortisol amplifies your dopamine loops by causing tolerance, you will need up to 10 times more dopamine causing the same stimulus. This can cause your risk to get an addiction by up to 30%. Let's try to find out together where you have serotonin and where you have dopamine in your everyday life. Pleasure is for minutes. Happiness is for years. Pleasure is taken solo, but happiness is shared socially. Pleasure is often substance driven. Everything which ends up in hall. Alcoholic, shopaholic, while happiness is always non-addictive. Does that mean we don't need dopamine? Of course you need it. Reward gets you out of bed in the morning. Contentment keeps you alive in long term. So what does it mean for your everyday life? Instead of doom scrolling in your smartphone, which gives you a 5 to 10 minute dopamine kick, meet your friends face to face. Long term contentment, happy life. And instead for substance driven dopamine kicks, seek for volunteering, seek for deep conversations. For the one rule you have to remember, the more dopamine and the less serotonin you have in your life, the unhappier you will be. Do you have dopamine addictive friends? Tag them.